Hey guys, it's me Edgar, here to do my review on Iron Man issue 43, and this is where Mika's big final battle between Iron Man and Mika's uh, begins, where we see Iron Man just get his ass kicked, pretty much. Um, Mika's does everything he can to destroy Iron Man from his magic powers, from everything in between. He even brings a fucking lizard uh, snake. And meanwhile, uh, one of Tony's friends realizes Tony's been gone for a while, so he puts in a guardsman Iron Man type suit. Um, you'll be seeing him for a while. Uh, he shows up later on in future issues. But uh, meanwhile, Mika is just throwing Iron Man all over the place and Tony's just doing everything he can to try to reason with Marianne as best as he can he does everything he could possibly can to try to stop Mika's but also tries to reason with Marianne and Marianne at this point had enough of the torture and just enough with the chronic uh, Iron Man getting his ass kicked and she starts to go on Tony's side and meanwhile Mika's just let's just say not too thrilled on that whole thing and uh, Mika's pretty much slaps Marianne and it's just everything just goes down the toilet she runs to Tony's side and after everything seemed all lost Tony just unleashes everything he could possibly can to put out every juice he got to obliterate all the lizard to obliterate everything in between and yeah he blows up the entire house down and after that whole thing the guardsman comes down and uh, they get Tony and Marianne they get the hell out of there and that's pretty much the comic is all about uh overall it was good I will say this this relationship really didn't go anywhere um they tried to throw in Marianne's uh psychic powers and future storylines but they never did shit with her and um it kind of makes me kind of feel like what's the point of bringing her back kind of makes her death seem worthless but overall Mikas was a really cool villain pushing Iron Man at his finest and I do like that a lot where Iron Man is out of his comfort zone he doesn't know what the hell to do so he does everything he can to try to stop this villain and we don't see that happening in Iron Man comics anymore we don't see Iron Man get pushed over the edge to his absolute perfection not unless you read the older comics of Iron Man where you see the pushing of his edge maybe sometimes you could have that but not all the time it used to be all the time um used to be iron man really tries to do everything he can to be a hero now it's just bullshit um now thank god someone is doing that but yet again before the latest writer of iron man nothing really is doing that bendis didn't do that uh, Dan Slott didn't do that shit, and uh, really nothing too much great. But uh, I'll see you guys next time. Stay tuned for more videos. I'll be doing uh, spawn reviews and also my reviews of the original screenplay of Alien sometime later this month. I'll see you guys later. In a scale of 1 to 10, I give it a solid 8 out of 10.